My name is Charlotte and I work in the historic clothing department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society in Connecticut. When we were going through our wedding dresses in the initial planning stages for our upcoming exhibit, we found this wedding dress from 1880 that has absolutely breathtaking beadwork. It's probably one of the most beautiful wedding dresses in our collection. However, the extensive beadwork is super delicate and the overall condition of the dress combined with the sheer weight means we cannot display it safely on a mannequin. Simply put, this dress needs a lot of help and conservation efforts and that is a really expensive process. If anyone has ever owned a heavily beaded piece of vintage clothing, you'll know that the beads are really unstable. So we still wanted to include this dress in our exhibit to emphasize the work that needs to be done in our collection. You can see Mike and I carefully laying it out in its custom case. We padded the folds with acid-free tissue to minimize creasing. Every crease is a calculated risk in these historic garments. And here is the dress in its display case and the beads up close. They are fake pearls, but they do have a really luminescent quality about them and it's a stunning gown in person. The dress also came with the original bridal portrait, which we scanned and enhanced, and it will be going on the wall next to the dress. The bride's name was Mary Louise Hoffman, who married Reverend Thomas Nickerson. She was related to the Mather family, who owned and donated the Historical Society building in Darien, which is the town next to ours in Connecticut. Our exhibit is open June 7th to September 9th, and we really hope you come see it. So thanks for watching, and we hope to see you here.